This is the next video in the tutorial series about making an animation in Adobe Flash. Uh, in the first one, I placed an audio file in a lower layer and set it to stream so that I can hear it as I slide my cursor along. And that way it will also only play at the length that I have the movie for. Now I've got a second layer here that I'm going to put text on because I'm making a kinetic typography project where the text is animated on screen as it is heard in the audio. So this first section of uh, audio, if I play it, unidirectional bonding strip. So I want to type in the words that are being said here. So I'm going to start with the unidirectional bonding strip there at the end. So I'll simply, using the type tool, place it here on my stage and type in unidirectional bonding strip. I want that to be centered, so I'm going to go to the paragraph options here under the type and set that at centered. And I'll arrange it on screen about where I want it when everything's on screen. Now that I have it on screen, I want to be able to uh, animate it coming onto the screen. So I'm going to start by breaking it apart. Right click on it and break apart. And now all the letters are individual. And I can now animate uh, the words or letters individually. For this animation, I'm simply going to have them appear on screen at uh, when they're said in the audio. Uh, to do that, I need to set a series of keyframes for where the words appear and then allow them to show up at that point. So I'll start by showing the key, or setting the keyframes. Here's where Eunice starts. So I'll select the frame in the timeline and right-click and insert a keyframe. Keyframe is where something's going to change in the animation. Um, we find the next word, bonding. Here's the next word, bonding. Uh, you can not see much of a waveform, but you can insert a little, you can see a little bit of waveform, and that can kind of help because you can see where uh, percussive sounds and consonants and things like that, usually starting of words, happen. Is where a strip starts, so I'll insert a keyframe here. So I've got three keyframes uh, that are indicating where the words start. And what I want to do is then delete the words um, that aren't supposed to be there before those keyframes. So the first part here, nothing's been said yet, so I want to delete all of that. The second part here, only unidirectional is being said, so I'll delete bonding strip. And then this one here, uh, unidirectional bonding is being said, so it'll just delete strip. And now when I go back to the beginning, unidirectional bonding strip. I have those words appear as are said. Now, before he says that, he does a, uh, a noise. So let's do that, mm, and I'll make that as an animation that comes on screen. I'll make another layer again. And I will use the text tool again, and I'll type in, hmm, sounds like he's thinking of something, so I'll use an ellipsis at the end of it. And for this one, I'll add a little bit of animation. So how about I have this one um, just drop down from the top and then slide off to the slide. So uh, I need to make a motion animation, I need a tween. A tween will allow me to allow it to move. Before I do that, though, I want to set where it comes in and where it goes out uh, as far as the length of the movie or of the clip. So let me go along here. This is where it starts, so I'll insert a keyframe here. And then this section here, I can simply delete it. This is where it goes out, so it ends, so I'll insert a keyframe a little bit down the way so that it has time to go out. And then these frames here are actually extra, so I'll just select all these frames and actually just delete, the, remove the frames. So now I have mm, starting here, and I want to have them animate. So I will right click on uh, the timeline or on the words, either one and then create a motion tween this time. 
now I can, this is a keyframe, so it says this is where it is. Now if I want to start off screen, I'll just drag it up and have it start up here. Then I want it to slide down on the screen. So I'll, come, I'll move a couple frames in the timeline and slide it down. Now you can see a motion path is created because I have a motion tween. Uh, and then I'll have it slide out to the side. So, But I'll have it hold for a few frames. So I want it to hold at that point. And then I want to have it change direction. Uh, since I didn't move it, it doesn't automatically create a keyframe for me. So I can right click or click first and then right click on that frame and I can insert a keyframe for position and then I'll move to the end of the clip and slide it off the stage over here so you can see there's another motion path. So if I go back and play it, we'll see what happens. Mm. Unidirectional bonding strip. Mm. Unidirectional bonding strip. And to see the entire movie played as a preview, I press Control Enter. Mm. Unidirectional bonding strip. Mm. Unidirectional bonding strip. And there I am, off and running.